Hola, buenas tardes. Good afternoon, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for yet another planner video. As always, it's your girl here, Daniela, aka Four Lizard. And I'm here with my 2022 Happy Planner planner lineup. And this is a video that I feel like the entire community looks forward to. And I have been absolutely loving seeing everyone's planner lineups for the new year. It's such an exciting time, um, the new year, you know, it's so full of potential and energy and opportunity. And I just can't wait to really dive into the new year and um, really get to play with all of these new planners that I picked up for the year. So uh, I'm just here to share with you my 2020, 2022 Happy Planner lineup. So definitely let me know your planner lineup in the comments down below. I would love to know. And if you're interested in seeing what I got, just keep on watching. So like I said, this is a Happy Planner 2022 planner lineup and it is exclusively the Happy Planner. Maybe one day I'll branch out and try other planner companies and other planner styles, but right now the Happy Planner has my heart. I really adore the disc bound system and the different styles that the Happy Planner offers and their aesthetics. I, I just love everything about the Happy Planner, the matching sticker books. Um, they got me. They got me good. So these are all Happy Planners and if you're familiar with my planning style, you know that I'm very eclectic, I'm very creative, and I am very extra. So right now I have 11 different Happy Planners franken planned or combined um, mixed up and combined into one mega happy planner i love calling my mega happy planner my happy planner solar system because i feel like it is just an entire galaxy onto itself and i love just exploring this final frontier of planner space and each planner is like its own planet that revolves around you know me and helps me to live my best life and get the most out of life and i just am loving planning and creative planning and using planners as motivation as inspiration as space to be creative a space to practice and develop habits. I can go on and on about why the happy planner and planning in general really helps me, motivates me, and is it for me. But you know, I feel like I already blab on too much, so we're just gonna leave it at that. So that's why I have 11 different happy planners, Franken-planned or combined into this one mega happy planner. And before you get all flabbergasted that I have 11 planners, let me just blow your mind a bit more and say that I actually do not have 11 planners. I have 17 different planners, but I only have 11 of them in this um, particular mega happy planner because Number one, 17 planners don't really fit on even the expander discs that I have this one on. And two, because I like having two different planners so that I can really spread out <laughs> as if I need more room, right? But um, I could either like force every single planner into one planner and not have that much room to add extra things like filler paper, pockets, and various other things. Or I could just split up my 17 planners into two planners and um, just flip-flop between them. The system works for me. Is it extravagant? Hell yes. Is it fun? Hell yes.
All right, I really need to stop blathering away. I'm already, I've already blathered too much, but how this video is gonna go down, I'm just gonna flip through my Mega Happy Planner right here and share with you the 11 planners that I have in this particular planner. The other seven are in my other planner and those are a little bit less planner and more workbooks for me. They're more like creative spaces for me. They're not so much uh, like, traditional planners. These that I have in here are a little bit more traditional planners and so uh, they're a little bit more functional so I keep them in this one. This one is always like my main planner and the other one is kind of like my secondary planner that I will get into if I have the time. So let's just flip through this and I'll be sharing each planner. Um, I'll pull out the actual planner that the pages come from as we get to each section and show you uh, how it is. So for the cover, I had to go with this Hello 2022 planner cover. It's super cute. I love the doodles and I just love the fact that it says Hello 2022 on it. And let me make some space here on my desk. All right, so the first uh, page here is my cover page. It's still the holiday cover page that I was using for December. I know Christmas has passed, the holidays have passed, but I'm gonna hang on to this holiday um, cover page just a little bit while longer until I feel like I'm ready to make another cover page. And on the back of that, I just have um, this 2022 calendar and then I have my Happy Planner Solar System Table of Contents. This outlines all of the 17 planners that I have, their style, their format, as well as their function. Love my Table of Contents. And then we get into the yearly calendar. And actually, these pages are from a Mickey Mouse Oasis planner, um, this one right here. So. This is aligned vertical. And these calendar pages are from that planner. I actually probably could um, get rid of this page here, maybe cover it with some scrapbook paper because I already have the 2022 calendar here. We have the 2023 calendar. And then we have my year at a glance perpetual calendar pages that I really love. And so I just have my first bookmark here with these adorable corgi stickers. And um, this is a penguin sticker from the Chicago Aquarium. And I just love the Mickey and Minis in these perpetual calendar pages. So I pulled for these calendar pages of from uh, all the planners I got. These are the ones that I liked the most. And on the back of that, we have a January overview, which I'm still uncertain about this page because it kind of was separated from the rest of the uh, monthly pages. And so I'm figuring, still figuring out how I want to use this page. Kind of, uh, I'm kind of thinking about um, using it as like a catch-all January page, but because I have so many planners, um, each item in my life goes into the specific planner that you know is meant to catch that kind of stuff so i don't really have a need for a catch-all but yeah i'm still thinking about that and i have my cute sticky note dashboard here with all of my cute uh Rilakkuma stickers on the back of it i still have this fall themed uh squash scrapbook paper which i was too lazy to change out and i figured it could uh it could kind of act as like a winter squash page. Then I just have some daily agenda sheets and another bookmark here. Um, these are, you know, in case I want to set up like a daily schedule for myself, I have them all set up already. And these daily agenda sheets are from a Mickey Mouse accessory pack and I'll fill out the page, you know, first and then on the back, because it's just plain grid paper, I'll go ahead and use that space to create hourly agendas for myself. And then I have some more um, hourly agenda daily sheets from just a regular uh, accessory pack that I got at Hobby Lobby. I also have some uh, more daily sheets here. 
and yeah I just have a couple of those from different styles and then we have my first planner section and I separate all of my sections from each other with a scrapbook paper and I have this really uh, really cute I think this is like a crocodile or like a reptile print a scrapbook paper in this gorgeous holographic uh, foil. I love this scrapbook paper so much. And the first section that I have here is my most important section. This is my academic section. I'm currently finishing my doctorate at the University of California, San Diego. I study honeybee genetics and behavior. And this is like my full-time job. I hope to graduate in June, so it's definitely been a long journey for me. So for this section, I uh, am using a Mickey Mouse vertical planner, and this is an undated planner, and it is very, very cute. It's very standard. It's just a classical vertical style, and it just has um, a dotted line sidebar. It's relatively neutral, I would say. It just has um, those cute Mickey motifs sprinkled throughout the spine and of course the headings. So um, I really like vertical style planning for my academic section. I just have some monthly goals here on the monthly, the calendar page, and then this is the first week in January. I have my Minnie Mouse bookmark here. And something that I am going to be trying out in 2022 is sticking with a sticker theme for each one of my planners. So for my academic planner, I'm going to be using Mickey Mouse Disney stickers um, exclusively. And that's because honestly, I have so many of the Happy Planner Mickey Mouse sticker books and I kind of want to get, you know, get through a lot of my sticker books this year. So I'm just going to be focusing exclusively on using those Mickey Mouse uh, Disney stickers and um, in, my, in my academic planner. And that way I hope to kind of have like this cohesive theme throughout the planner. So I've actually already gone and decorated next week as well, so you can kind of see um, how I've set up my planner for the coming week before I really uh, fill it out. I do, you know, have written some things that are happening already, but most of it is blank. And I've dated the following weeks, but I haven't decorated them yet. And then we just have the February monthly, and then we go on to my second section, which I've used this a uh, glittery holographic scrapbook paper to separate the section here. This planner is actually the planner that um, I'm using the cover for the entire Mega Happy Planner. So uh, the planner that has this cover here, these are the pages for from that planner. And this is a color block vertical style planner and I actually am using this planner for my part-time position. I have an internship position that is about recruitment and communication for graduate school at UC San Diego and so it's another job that I have and um, I wanted to have a whole separate planner for that position because it is so different from um, my graduate school work. And so I just have my bookmark here. And this position actually, I've been, it's been kind of slow starting up this year. So I actually don't have that much written down for this section here, but I've already gone and decorated um, for the next week as well. And here are the blank pages. Moving on to my third planner, I just have some glittery pink uh, scrapbook paper separating the section from uh, the previous one. But this planner is... These planner pages are from this gorgeous neutral 2022 dashboard planner that is in this blush tone. As soon as I saw this, I knew that I really wanted it and I decided to make um, this planner be my um, my biota project planner. So I'm involved with this uh, creative collective called the Biota Project. We do a lot of 
uh, content creation. So this planner houses all of my science communication work. I'm also involved in a program um, bringing science education to the incarcerated community of San Diego. So that work also goes in here as well. This planner is a dashboard style and the theme that I want to go for in this planner is very minimal, um, very clean lines, uh, not that much color. This is something new for me, so I'm looking forward um, to playing around with this aesthetic in this section. And I just remembered that I forgot to mention what was my style for my previous planner section here. And this one is just going to be bright and whimsical, a lot of pastels, a lot of cute like doodle-like stickers. So that's the theme for that one. Playful, whimsical. This one is a little bit more minimal. And I've already gone and decorated um, for uh, the next week as well here. So there is that section. And then my fourth planner section. Again, I have some sparkly pink paper there. And actually, it's about time I take out these pages here. I wasn't able to do too much in this planner. Um, in, in the last weeks of December and the first weeks of January because just so busy with holidays and traveling and friends and family but you know we're gonna get into it so this planner is a lined vertical planner it's the colorful leopard lined vertical planner from the happy planner and I adore Adore this aesthetic so much. This is my world news planner. It's kind of a journal for me, kind of a workbook. It inspires and motivates me to listen to the news, to read, um, you know, articles. In the monthly, I like to write like the most important news item I heard on the radio that day. And then like in the weeklies, I'll journal about, um, things that I, I read. Um, I, I try to read a couple of articles, you know, a week from either science journals or from the New York Times, the Los Angeles Times. I find it really motivates me to be informed. So the theme that I have going on for this planner is, of course, colorful leopard. So as you can see, I have just lots of colorful leopard stickers in this section. Moving on to my fifth planner, I have my holographic crocodile scrapbook paper divider. Um, this is my spirituality section. And for this uh, planner, I'm using this beautiful Painterly Pastels color block planner. And this is my faith section, my faith and spirituality section. So in the monthly here, I uh, have a tarot card that I kind of pick for the month and I will just kind of reflect on the meaning of that tarot card and then for January I usually have like my spiritual calendar here which has a lot to do with astrology and the Aztec calendar and I all track like the moon cycle and then the movements of the planets as well as any rituals that I want to observe during the month. I actually haven't gotten around to mapping out my January spirit calendar but I'm hoping to do that in a future video. And then for the weeklies, um, this is kind of a combination of important events. I like to include prayer in here, Bible quotes, uh, reflections on uh, re uh, spiritual or religious texts. I'm very interfaith, so I do read the Bible. I also read um, texts from various religions like Hinduism, Buddhism, Shinto, Judaism. I just am an open book when it comes to faith, and I find that I, I enjoy learning about and um, practicing multi-faith. So this, the theme in this planner is going to be like a, a pastels, um, yeah, a soft pastels, because I feel that really lends itself to faith and spirituality for me. And I've already gone and decorated the following two weeks. And then you can see here, this is an undecorated week. 
I just have a matching folder here and then I have another section here where I have my Aztec calendar that I'm slowly filling in and then I just have some full moon uh, reflections here that I am also slowly filling in. And then moving on to my fifth planner, I believe. I've lost track at this point. I'm gonna have to reference my table of contents. Let's see, where is it? This is my sixth planner. So my sixth planner, and actually I need to pull out these last two pages here and uh, move this one over and paper clip these two here. I was, uh, I, had, I had included the last week of December in here so that I could uh, just carry that around with me. But now that that week has passed, I don't have to carry that around. So this is my fitness section. And the planner that I'm using for this section is this one, which is like the yoga pose one. Really gorgeous, realistic photography with some like whimsical elements and quotes to it. I have the January monthly, which I still need to figure out what I want to do with this page. I have the January uh, monthly calendar, which I like to uh, decorate with, you know, what I've done each day, but, but I haven't really gotten around to um, adding my, my workouts here in the first couple of days of the new year. So this section doesn't really have a theme besides just fitness and health. And so this is what we have going on right now. I've been kind of still on vacation the first couple of days of January. I haven't really gotten back into my routine um, until today, which is the sixth Thursday. So I kind of am giving myself a bit of a slack, bit of slack to, you know, like not be so in my planner for the first half of the week, but I'm really expecting to get back into the swing of things um, really starting tomorrow, the seventh. I just have been kind of on a break up until today, honestly, and I feel like tomorrow is finally going to be the day that I really get back into the swing of things. So I've already decorated um, the following two weeks. This is just a blank week here. And then we move on to my seventh planner here, and I actually don't have the monthly for this section because I gave it to a friend. but. This is my wellness planner, and I'm using a wellness planner for this section. Uh, it's specifically a planner meant for wellness. This is the Your Soul is Golden planner. Really, really gorgeous. I love the soft pastels. And um, this is my wellness planner. So it's all about me, myself, and I, my moods, my feelings. Um, it's meditation and mindfulness. It's uh, being unplugged. It's, it's everything that has to do with me and my internal self. So the calendar or the monthly calendar view, I have been enjoying using this as a mood tracker. So I just have this really fun mood tracker set up. And then these are the weekly pages and I like to decorate with the soft color palette. I like to use the mood tracker stickers and the wellness sticker books from the happy planner and really uh, I really want this section to be somewhere where I can turn to to find some peace some solace it's uh, it's gonna be full of reminders to disconnect from screens from social media from you know abstract worlds because I am a computer scientist I am a data scientist and I spend a lot of time on a black screen uh, feeling like I'm in the matrix and it's honestly uh, it's kind of mentally taxing to just always be on a screen and so um, this is a good this is gonna be a really really good constant reminder to me to just unplug from the computer and so I've already decorated a few pages uh, in January. And I also have some sections in here uh, that are kind of wellness related, so I stuck them in here. I have my bedtime routine, 
in the back I just have some sleep logs and I have some uh, journaling pages from one of the Mickey Mouse journaling um, happy planner workbooks so I have those in case I feel like I want to journal and then moving on to my seventh section <laughs> let me check okay so this is my eighth planner here and this is actually I switched this planner up so this used to be my spirituality and faith planner but I felt like the dashboard style really didn't help me with um with that and so I decided to switch over my the rest of this planner which is the color block mickey mouse dashboard planner i switched this to be my household planner and i actually uh, this was a, a year-long planner that started last june so it's gonna end in june of this year so i only have six more months left with this planner and in june i'll be able to switch over to a new household planner so i didn't even get a new planner for my household section um, once my household planner ended at the end of last year because i wanted to get a new planner for my spirituality and faith because i wanted to switch out of this planner so i just moved it over and i repurposed it so this is my uh household planner and so this is the planner that these pages come from very very cute i love the color block mickey mouse planner and still figuring out what i want to do with this monthly overview page so this is my monthly calendar section and i write important household events here things that happen things that i plan to I haven't really gotten around to doing anything here though and then uh this is this week yeah this is this week so this is my household planner it's one of my most used planners obviously and because it is a mickey mouse planner i am using my mickey mouse bookmark and i decided to go ahead and use mickey mouse stickers i had a few pages left of my color block mickey mouse sticker book um, so i ended up using a bunch of those but i definitely have finished uh, that sticker book now so i'm probably just going to be using um regular uh stickers from or regular mickey mouse stickers from some some of the other mickey mouse sticker books that i have because uh, i don't have any more of those color block mickey mouse stickers so there we go um, and i just adore the dashboard style for household it just lends itself so well to household stuff and then following household, I have um, a couple other planners that all kind of fit together, in my opinion. They're all kind of in, in, they all kind of revolve around household and home. So after household, I have my meal prep planner. So I feel like everyone in the planner community picked up one of these babies, and it's such a gorgeous planner. And one of my biggest New Year's resolutions is to be better about meal prepping and to meal prep more to cook more to be a better cook and so i felt like having a meal planner would uh really motivate me to to you know be better about meal prepping and cooking so i have an idea of um uh, printing out photos of my favorite dishes that i cooked and adding them onto this page here um, I probably will continue to use this recipes to try section as how it's meant to be used. The monthly calendar page, I don't really, um, I don't know if I want to do anything with it. I might make, I might make notes of like when I eat out or when I like make a good meal or something, but I'm not sure exactly how I want to use that. The recipes and ingredients page i think i'm gonna repurpose this to be like a pantry and fridge inventory and i might keep the grocery list um as a grocery list so that'll be that so this was last week this is the current week i tend to use recipe stickers recipe book stickers and food themed stickers in this planner obviously 
but I honestly don't feel like I'm going to be decorating this planner too much. For me, it's more of a functional planner than like a decorative planner. So there's that. So I, I yeah, it's going to be pretty minimal when it comes to decoration. And then moving on to my 10th planner here with my sparkly um, dashboard or sparkly scrapbook divider. This is my garden section. So these pages come from this gorgeous undated vertical sweet succulents planner. <laughs> Love it so much. And this page here actually, um, because this was the first month in the planner, it didn't have like a a monthly um, overview page and so I actually repurposed this page from another uh, planner that I had a budget planner that I wasn't using this page and I figured it would be a good monthly overview for January so I just stuck it here on the back of the divider but I love these dividers so much so we just have the monthly calendar view which I'll make note of important events here um, like so seed sowing, um, harvesting, the first sprout emergence, things like that. And then this is the first week here. Um, the theme in this planner is uh, plants and pollinators and just anything, you know, botany related. So I'm using a lot of Happy Planner stickers as well as um, stickers from other sticker books that have like this plant theme. So we have my gardening um, bookmark here. And I also have a quick weather check up here at the top. Every, um, you know, every week I'll kind of check in with the weather to get an idea of what the week's looking like because, you know, whether it's raining or not really, uh, really influences my decision to water my plants slash if I need to move some of my pots into, um, underneath the patio roof so they don't drown, etc. So we just have that and then I've already decorated the following weeks as well. And then we just have the February monthly before we move into my last section this is my 11th planner here and this is actually my budget section and so i just have the budget review here and these pages come from this planner here that says save now spend later really really cute uh, planner and i just love this format so much i love what they did with the weekly pages um, they don't have any like random categories at the top here i love how they kind of split up um, the monthly bills and i'm just really really happy with this planner here and i'll just show you the um the monthly overview so this is where i kind of map out you know all my bills i have to pay and then i uh i definitely always uh check in with this planner section and yeah i'm not gonna show the rest of uh of this planner because it has sensitive information but beyond that i just have an envelope with some receipts and then I just have a folder here, which just has my car registration that I just got in the mail that I need to uh, I need to address. And then I just have another folder in the back here. This is another Mickey folder, and I just have some stickers in the back there and some like stationary sheets for daily productivity. And that is all. That is my entire flip through of this one mega happy planner that's 11 planners in here um definitely excessive you definitely don't need this many planners um it's it's a lot of fun and if you want to make the time for it and you have the time for it for it it's very doable very possible and for me, it's such an outlet of creative expression and it also helps motivate me to get a lot of things done. So it works for me and honestly, that's all you need. So thank you so much for checking out this video, hanging out with me 
for all this time. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know if you're using any of these planners that I have up in my lineup. Let me know if we're planner twinning. And um, with that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay blessed, stay safe, and stay cute. Bye.